quality of a greenhouse is very important, especially when you have severe weather, such as extreme cases of wind or extreme cases of snow. The greenhouse that I'm in has also accumulated a lot of snow. Um, therefore, the quality is very important. Uh, we have a 612 pitch, so we have a peaked Gothic roof style for our structures, which facilitates snow sliding off. When you look at greenhouses after a snowstorm, um, uh, snow tends to collect at the peak if it's not a peaked roof greenhouse and it's just a roundhouse. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a red flag for a possible failure. Uh, wind is just as detrimental as snow. We have uh, wind bracing, we have truss supports or truss braces. Overall, we, we build a solid greenhouse, but again, um, the best insurance is just buying a quality greenhouse from the get-go. At times, you could get a lot of freezing and thawing of snow, which could really turn the snow into big chunks of ice and make it very difficult to clear. This is the case now, as you can see the sides of the greenhouse is pretty ice packed and snow packed. And then there's no way you can roll up the sides if you do have roll up sides. Another thing is uh, if you're near uneven or sloping ground, you can end up getting lots of snow on one side of the greenhouse and little or no snow on another side of the greenhouse. When you have uneven snow load, this is a giant problem because you have stress on one side of the structure and little or no stress on another side of the structure which could easily cause a failure. The last thing is if you have multiple greenhouses, put at least 10 feet in between the greenhouses so that there is space for the snow to fall down and accumulate. Mm -hmm.